It's chinny chin chin. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Oh wait, was Vespula the one? Hmm. If she was- oh wait, no, neither of the ones said anything about the bed stuff. Neither of the poems did. It was Zoltan who said that. I don't remember if Marabella's the one he said it about, though. Oh well, I guess that's that. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Aw. That smile was so kind. And then they all just play in the yard. Alright, next to Ellie Hall. Mom, where are ya? Um. Do I have... There's a tavern right there. Do I have any junk to unload? Oh, not really. Oh, hey. I have some florins to exchange. I'll worry about it later. So I wonder, what does... Crap, what's his name? Something that starts with a V? Vim... Vim is... Not Vizimir. Um... Eh, I don't know. That banker dwarf. What does he do with the foreign currency, then? If he can't spend it anywhere here. He exchanges it for crowns that he gets from somewhere. Fucking hey, Oz. I thought I had something clever to say to that, but nothing came. <sighs> Watch it, Tran. No regrets, not your stomping ground. Eternal fire. Protect King Radalot. Lord knows he needs it. Think of anything else to say at the moment. Rooster. Rooster, rooster, rooster. Tee hee. My girlfriend is the type of person who gets all of her enjoyment in a game like this from just killing every killable person and small creature and otherwise living thing that she comes across. Are there a bunch of dead bodies up here? Wait a second. Oh, okay. For a second I was worried that maybe, uh, that maybe somehow a save had went wrong and it actually saved me killing the Bilberry dude. But now this was one of the things that was lost from the recording. I was resting there and then woken up by a bunch of random bandits, three to be precise, whom I dealt with swiftly and with much justice. Oh wow. Hello, Moon. So is... Is this planet supposed... Is this supposed to be planet Earth? I was never entirely clear on that. Like, is this just an alternate universe from the one we're in? Or is this supposed to be just like the Earth that we live on, just an alternate version of it? Well, thank you. I could see it being either way, honestly. Oh gosh, there's something to talk about. I just... I just recently... 
You kind of look like Triss. Or maybe it's just your outfit. No, it's your hair, too. Right. <laughs> oh, wait, here we go. Oh, hey, is this the... Wait a minute. It's not a door. Wait a minute. Excuse me. Hold up a titch. Hold up a titch. Welcome, welcome. Do come in. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Let's, let's find out what this is actually about. <laughs> I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Ellie Hal. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Ellie Hal? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Elihal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Oh, so it's that. Wait here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yes. Any better? So you're Elihal. <sighs> did you and Dandelion? I mean, how did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. <laughs> That's all right. Don't think I want to know what happened next. Oh, stop. He wasn't so drunk as not to figure it out. Besides, men don't interest me. I told him that from the start. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Well, how about that? <laughs> What did it say? Look deep in... Oh, her nature duel. Look deeply into her eyes or you'll be made a fool. <laughs> oh my god, that is the best. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Hmm. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although... Indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings-on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? Huh. What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who Kalkstein is, but I think I like him. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, 
I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. <laughs> no, I mean, as far as explanations go, that's a pretty good one, I'd say. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. So is he just gonna stay dressed up now? <laughs> oh, that's just so great. Do, does he have anything else Greetings. I might want to buy? Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? <clears throat> Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. And he's got a regular shirt. Skellige breeches. Hmm. Into Nilfgaardian shoes. Skellige festive slippers. Skellige tunic. Elegant Skellige shirt. I'm almost tempted to get something just so I have something to wear with the shirt if I ever decide to not be wearing armor, but what are the odds of that actually happening? So long. <clears throat> oh, that was... That is the... That is the most I have laughed in quite some time. Was, I thought that building looked familiar. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I'm really glad that I happened to stop by there when I first came into, uh, when I first came into Novigrad. It was just by chance I happened to decide to go in there and take a look at the store. And, oh my. It was just the fact that I'd already been in there and already knew that the owner of the shop was a guy is what made it so funny. Like, it still would have been funny to walk in there and see that Ellie Hall was the male shop owner. It still would have been funny, but not nearly as funny as it was since I'd already seen him. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. That was a treat. You know, those collars that those witch hunter guys had, I see that saw is still floating. They're super weird. Why do the collar of a shirt going over your nose? That's so bizarre. I've never seen that before. Ah, you're back! You met Poppy? You want to start talking any day now. Huh. That Field Marshal Duda's replacement? The Marshal was a parrot, you do remember, right? Where'd you get her? At auction. Some mage's estate went under the hammer. Witch hunters and the Eternal Fire joined forces, staked out his place and rounded the sorry sap up, put his things up for sale. Happened to be passing by and saw this out. Came with her own cage. How could you resist? Could they? Twerned possible. Ah, but dandelions what matters now. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, no much a note. He wasn't a stain with any of them. Not seen hiding or hair of them in ages. All I learned was a few of dandelions pickup lines. Dubious worth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear him. I'm all ears. Uh, I know how he wooed a last studying natural history. 
Astrobot da. 